was judged, and then you come fast forward to Genesis 6, the sons of God that are angels coming to earth, becoming human and, t and, and force of, uh, forcing women to then bear offspring, and then they produce giants, and then you come forward to the Great Tribulation period, a third of the angels fall from heaven, that could be hundreds of millions. And they come to the earth, and then they repeat what happened in the days of Noah. And among these are these references to these creatures that are flying. It's, it's like a, a supernatural warfare that's going on. Uh, we're in Isaiah, turn to Isaiah 46. And the picture you should get, of course, isn't going to be clear because uh, we see through a glass darkly. We have some information. But one thing's for sure, this great tribulation period is like nothing you and I have ever experienced. And in uh, Isaiah 46, beginning of verse 9, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. What? Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executeth my counsel from a far country, yea, I have spoken it, I will also bring it to pass, I have purposed it, I will also do it. Again, over and over and over, these devilish, dark men are referred to as birds. Go back to Daniel chapter 8, and this is another fascinating passage here. This is talking about the Antichrist. And it says in verse 9, And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great toward the south, and toward the east, and toward the pleasant land. That's Israel. Verse 10, And it waxed great even to the host of heaven. Those are angels. And it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. This is talking about the Antichrist actually taking some of these angels that are cast to the earth, and they're evil, and they know their days are numbered. And there'll be chaos even among the angels who fall to the earth. And some will not go along with the plan, and the Antichrist is going to actually fight some of his own angels and kill and destroy some of his own angels. There's a reference uh, in other places where uh, there's infighting among angels the Antichrist's allies, and that will include his allied angels uh, during this time. Now, all of this then takes us back to Revelation chapter 13. This is where we'll, we'll close it. Now, while you're turning there, I just want to tell you about this. Kent Holbein, who's now in prison right now because of the IRS, uh, he originally uh, is the first person I heard talk about this. There are massive bird-like creatures being sighted all over the world. And they only come out at night. A lot of our police and military people, you know, of course skeptical at first, but then when they investigate and they see these things, this is in Texas. It's in South Texas. Sightings of prehistoric-like bird in San Antonio and South Texas. They call it black, dark, and disturbing. This was in November, the last uh, report of it, on KENS Channel 5 in San Antonio. More sightings of a, high, of a huge flying creature have prompted an investigation to determine if it is a monster or a myth. Uh, this guy named Frank Ramirez said, even though it was dark, the thing itself was black, the blackest I'd ever seen. He tells a story, that's when the thing up there sitting on top of the garage he says it turned to me and it was in a perch state and it started to turn. He said it started to move its arms and this giant blackness was just coming out. At that point, I dropped the stick and I ran. Just go go to the thing with the stick. I think you better have a SKS or something. Uh, Ramirez sketched a drawing of the large bird-like uh, creature. Uh, he says, if you were to take a man's face and pull his chin down, just like a stretched face. Now, there are many possibilities to this, but right here we just talked about they're mixing human and animal DNA. Who knows what they've come up with already? And once they get out and, and if they're able to have, uh, you know, male, female and, and, and multiply, it's just amazing what could happen. Or here, here is, it says an earlier story by the same TV station drew more than 100,000 hits 
and uh, a bunch of people who said they saw it too. One woman contacted the TV station and said that because of their story, she now knows she's not crazy. She said she had seen this thing and thought she was going nuts. Ken Hovind told of people who came up to him from Africa, and they come up and said, why are you saying that's an extinct bird? He says, that, it's been extinct for thousands of years. And they're like, no, it's not. We have them down where we live. We have to bury people and, and then pile rocks up on top of the grave because these birds would come out at night and dig the bodies up. And so Kent Hobine started to research it and had other people go down that, that, that looked, and he looked, and they came up with all this evidence. So all this is saying is there's going to be a space invasion, and people are going to think it's aliens or spirit guides of some sort. And the Bible says that they're devils, fallen angels. And in Revelation chapter 16, beginning in verse 13, he says, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. It says in verse 14, For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, just like all the charismatic charlatans and preachers, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. In other words, these devils that are all over the world doing all this stuff, and they're going to be taking women and forcing them to have, or they're going to rape the women. I mean, it's just no nice way of putting it. And they're going to force women to have their offspring. That's why I've said that I think there's a good possibility that after the rapture, there's going to be a period of years before that covenant with Antichrist is signed. And during that time is when this sort of thing is going to go on, and these giants, these offspring, will be mature and ready to do battle during the tribulation period. But there's nothing to say it couldn't start now. There's nothing to say that it couldn't start before the rapture as far as this going on. And some of the weird stuff going around, on around the world, it makes you wonder. And he tells us, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them, all these devils who possessed these kings, he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And we won't read all that, but that's how it's going to end. I've talked to men who have studied this, and they believe it, but they won't preach it. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't care what the world thinks of me. And I don't care what anybody thinks of me. If the Bible says it, then we need to study it and learn it, and I'm going to preach it. It just adds another bit of information to us, number one, as to why we believe the church isn't going through that tribulation period, but also as a motivation to preach the gospel to the lost. Because if you're lost, you're left. And we're going to see people who have heard the gospel and rejected the gospel and missed the rapture. They are going to be handed over. There's numerous places that tell us that the gospel dispensation is up and you have heard and rejected, then you're going through this. If you haven't already, you will want to visit our website at kjvbiblebelievers.com and download part one of this message, The Great Tribulation Alien Invasion. You may do so by clicking on our MP3 sermon page or the sermonaudio.com links. All messages are absolutely free of charge. This program was brought to you by Bible Believers Fellowship, P.O. Box 662, Worthington, Ohio, 43085. Thank you for listening.